And in today's video, we're gonna be taking these, putting them into this, setting them up with this and this, and sending them up into the air. Hey everyone, welcome back to the den. Today I am fusing up some more stuff for New Year's Eve, and I have Wind of Fireworks Neon Beef, and a new 24 shot rack that I just built up with DR11 tubes. On it, I did put on my speaker cable extender, and it actually fits perfectly in between that gap that it can just screw right in. And I think this is gonna work really good. So let's open this kit up, see what it looks like inside, and get it all fused up, and see how these all look up in the air. So I have been looking forward to seeing these shells in person since the first time I saw a video of them. And I am really excited to see what they look like. So in it, we do have the standard six pack of shells, all in a really nice color. And each six has a mortar tube which is a nice thick fiberglass, wood base. We had a concrete plug down there. And this is a nice sturdy fiberglass tube. So I'll definitely be saving these, knocking the base out of them and probably making another rack off of them. For all of the shelves, we do have description on them and they are numbered as well. So I'm probably gonna fire these all one through 24. So then in the video, we can actually look back, match them back up and see how each of them look. So all four of the kits, each of the shells is numbered. That first one was one through six. Now we've got seven through 12, et cetera, all the way through. So I'm gonna get these into my rack. I'm gonna fuse them up and I'll be back and show you guys how I fused them and then we'll take it out into the backyard and set it off. So here's all 24 cans. These are five inch shells and we have the four mortar tubes. And really these ones are nice. I'm definitely knocking the base off of these ones and keeping them and building another fiberglass rack for them. All right, I am pretty happy with how this rack turned out. So what I did for the fusing on these is I used the 24 to 28 second green safety fuse. I'm gonna shoot this rack a little earlier, but I really wanna see the effects of these shells. I've really been looking forward to firing them. So I want a slower pace, let everything break clean before the next one goes up so we can really get the effects of all 24 of these shells. I plan on having two cameras running, one to look at the mine effects because these last 12 all have what sound like really nice mine effects. And then the other camera up in the sky at widescreen so we can really see the break and hopefully we get some good footage on these ones. So let's take these out and see if these live up to the hype that I've built up for them. And we're gonna do the Winda Neon Beef right now. I can't wait.